scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And it's freak missing. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. Ritter passes to Dudley. Out to the right wing. Here's the three. The rebound by Gibson. Gibson's got five rebounds tonight. McDermott kicks to Buck. Outside Rose. Noah the screen. Right side Gibson. The 11-footer. Second chance shot. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Where's the box out? Some easy second chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. A free throw off from Joe Kim Noah. Now here's Freak, who's covered by Rose. Schroeder up top. Right wing. Pass to Freak. The drive by Scott. To the middle. Freak. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Jimmy Butler. And now the stats on Joe Kim Noah. Good season for him last year. Seventh in rebounding and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game. Supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And he was a top 10 rebounder for good reason. I mean, he's incredibly intense and he goes hard for the full 48 minutes. The Hawks making a switch here. Splitters checked in. And so he makes both from the line. 151 left to play in the third. Outside Rose. Noah the screen. Rose dishes to Butler. Pass to Gibson. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Just three to shoot. They grab their own miss. Good and a nice assist from Noah. 14 points here for Taj Gibson. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it. He, he made it look easy that time. Noah kicks to Rose. Scott against Gibson. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of the effort that both sides have been able to put out. I'm looking yeah. over there at Greg. He's enjoying every second of it, yes, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the, the fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's going to nail by so far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. That's good from Gibson. Paul Millsap has checked in for splitting. Both shots good from the strike. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Plenty of space. They get it back. Noah with the block. Butler kicks to Rose. Dishes it to Noah. Scott pulls it in. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Millsap has the open look. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Millsap's got five now. And it's Rose penetrating. Here's Gibson. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. And honestly, guys, in real time, I couldn't really see whether he got it off in time. But with the benefit of replay, it seems pretty clear that the clock expired just before the release. 
And you know, as a player, you're aware of that clock ticking down on you, but within that last fraction of a second, it's really hard to know when you're focusing on your release and the defenders if you waited just a split second too long. Well, the ruling is in, and the call stands. No basket, so no change, Clark, and the scoreboard as we end the quarter. Smart decision to review the shot. That was indeed very close to being legitimate. the fourth quarter of action getting underway we've had a great one so far the making some changes Joakim Noah he's checked in for Jimmy Butler and Taj Gibson is subbed in for Doug McDermott Al Horford's checked in for Atlanta Freak comes in for Jeff T at the floor it's Gasol with Noah at the five Derek Rose is out there with Portis and it's Gibson in at the small forward so that's the five in the game for Chicago back to Gasol yes and it's Rose with the assist that time Rose has got assist number eight now on the night. Freak passes to Millsap. Kicks it to Horford. And he jams it with authority. And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt. But still, it only counts for two. Two is all. This all setting the pick for Gibson. And it's Rose penetrating, and it's sent back by Horford. You got it. Freak with it, and Rose picks him up defensively. Cephalosha kicks to Millsap. To the inside, Freak. He nails it, and we're tied up. Freak's got 22 points. Yeah, great post position. That's going to be key here in crunch time. This all a screen. There's the dish to Noah. Rose passes to Gasol. Rebound, Atlanta. Korver's got his third rebound on the night. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Horford having just a fantastic game. Eight rebounds and some of his offense coming at the foul line with five points there. Clark, five pretty big points indeed. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. McDermott's checked in for Chicago. Jimmy Butler comes in for Pau Gasol. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Yeah, disappointing not to convert all of them, but he did get the one to give them the lead. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bulls? Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Yeah, but, but they also never seem to get cold from mid-range. Just kept hitting those shots with consistency. To the middle. There's the steal. Now here's Rhodes. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. They're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. And Freak throws it down. And really, he epitomizes what a point guard should be. I mean, his skill as a passer might actually be matched by that creativity he shows around the rim. Well, judging by that jam, Greg, I'd say you're absolutely right. Boy, that's a nice surge for them just when they needed it in a game that was so tight. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. What a game for Rose. 22 points and eight down. He's doing some serious work in this fourth quarter. And getting better and better the deeper we get into this game. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Here's Noah. Can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Milsim. The Hawks trail by four. Freak dishes to Corver. Takes it off the glass. 
Corver's got four points this quarter. That's a huge shot. And that put a hush over the crowd. Wow, I mean, took these fans out of the game in the blink of an eye. Outside Rose. And Butler, here we go. And you talk about momentum. That sort of action delivers a type of energy to your team that you just can't quantify. I, you know what? I'm going to quantify it right now, Clark. <laughs> and this is a close game, and that was something special. And, and really, they in, tried. In, in a game, <laughs> you guys, in a game like this, though, when you have a chance to send a message, you do. And, and boy, did he ever on that play. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. 107 left in the fourth quarter. Cephalosia kicks to Horford. Tries again. Nails it! And he has brought them to within two points. Those are huge points. Beyond huge, partner. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. And it's Rose penetrating. Can't get it to fall. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth. Good! I tell you what, this is the white-hot version of Derrick Rose right now. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. So that means they've got to be very careful with the basketball right now. Well, we can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, you got the lead. Burn some clock here. Smart move. Yep. Noah with a screen for Butler. The pass to Fortis. It's stolen by Corver. Freak passes to Horford. Fires from deep. Full time! And another triple to their second half total. They came out of the break just dropping bombs and just are not letting up at all. Don't be afraid to make the extra pass. If it's open, take it. For the win. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And so the big win by Atlanta in a tight game. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Paul, congratulations on this win. It seemed like this game was getting away from you at points. What does the team take away from this game in terms of experience? You know, we got to do a better job of executing down the stretch. You know, as simple as that. Um, this is glad we got this win. We just can't let these things happen in the future. In escape from some mistakes, Paul. Well done, guys. Doris, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And now time to send it over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the post-game show. The 2K Sports post-game show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. What'd you notice about his performance, Kenny? You know, Freak was a 4.0 honor student growing up. And tonight, that high IQ is one of the things we saw on display with that sensational performance. Combine his smarts with the fact that he lives and breathes basketball, there's no doubt that he's one of the most intelligent players we have in this league. He came off the bench and torched him tonight. That's my torch sound, Ernie. I know it don't sound like a torch, but I know you feel the heat. I don't think the plan was for him to play as big as he did tonight. But once his kid hit the floor, it didn't take long for him to take over. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.
the team's current winning streak, how concerned have you been with making sure you get yours? It's never about the numbers for me. It's about wins. As long as we're rolling like tonight, then I'm good. That's an easy question. What else you got? When you score like you did tonight, do you feel like you could go one on five and still get yours? Well, it's important to have confidence in your game. But no one ever got anywhere playing one on five. I was feeling it tonight, but tomorrow it'll probably be somebody else. It's just the nature of the game, you know? I saw your longtime girlfriend, Yvette Mendenhall, was in attendance at the game today. So when are you going to get her a ring? <sighs> Whoa. Uh, I didn't know we were going to get all personal up in here tonight. Um, if there's anything I learned after my first season in the NBA, is that it's best to keep my personal life Write it. So that's what I'm going to do. Me and Yvette are happy, just like we've always been. She means the world to me, and that's all I'm going to say. All right, I'm out. <laughs>